you for coming again. Let's do this again. We're ready to learn. In three, as usual, I'll raise my hand for one minute, two minutes, three minutes, then roll off around me. Okay, so we have the floor in three, two, one. Let's go. Hello, I'm Dr. David Ajibadi, founder and executive director of Brain and Body Foundation. Now, we've been going through the series on heart health, and today is a special segment because we want to talk about women and cardiovascular disease. In other words, the woman question. <laughs> and you, and no, don't go up in arms. Don't, don't, don't be defensive. I'm just going to point out a few things that we feel, or I feel, that are very important that women should know. And, and one of the things that we want to point out right off the bat is that women have a disadvantage when it comes to heart disease. And one of the disadvantages we have, well, no, I'm sorry, women have, not we. <laughs> one of the advantage, disadvantages women have is that most of the research, most of the studies, most of the treatment have been done on men, by men, and for men. In other words, it, it's been easier, let's put it that way, it's been easier for the subjects of the patients to be men because they are, quote unquote, well, <laughs> more straightforward. They don't have the the different cycles that women have on a, on, a, on a regular period, which could confound the results. So scientists, for better or for worse, I'm not going to judge their wisdom at this point, decided to focus on men. And for the most part, it was white men. And so we are now beginning to find out in the 21st century what a grave mistake that was. Because now, more and more, in retrospect, we're beginning to see that women uh, the drugs don't work as well, that's one. Some 80% of the time, side effects happen in women for these cardiovascular drugs. Also, also, um, we don't, the, the pattern, the, what they call the pattern of heart disease that we know is predominantly male. We are now beginning to see that the female pattern heart disease is quite different from the male pattern heart disease. And so people don't really recognize, or doctors don't really recognize when the person is having a heart attack, for instance. And so uh, there's been a, an uprising, so to speak, in the Western world, especially in the U.S., to say, hey, let's look at what the woman, let's look at the woman's pattern of heart disease so that we can save more women. Uh, the statistics are, are, are crazy. I'm, I'm going to re read a few of them for, for, uh, for you. Women have two to four times more deaths than men from cardiovascular disease. More women die within the first year of a heart attack than men do. And uh, uh, there's, a, there's a graph here that you'll probably l look at, and you can see the red line. So you can see that there's a dramatic difference between what's happening uh, between deaths from heart disease in women and deaths from heart disease in men. However, that's beginning to change. Like we mentioned earlier, there's a lack of awareness, uh, especially among the medical professionals as, as to the woman pattern heart disease, and of course, in the public as well. So these, this segment is just to highlight some of these things that, uh, that show why we Women should pay attention to their heart conditions, to pay, pay attention to their blood pressure, their, their blood levels of other things. Women tend to pay more attention to their family, their husband, and their kids than they, than they do themselves. I mean, they're the carers. So you, you guys care for people, but uh, the point of this message is that you care for yourself as well. So, uh, so I'm going to say a few other things. Um, the signs and symptoms do not follow the typical male pattern and thus are not as easily recognized. Many times if, you, if a person is having a heart disease, you, um, a heart attack, you think, oh, he's going to have a pain in, his, in the left side of his chest, maybe in his left shoulder, maybe under his chin, but it's going to be dramatic. It's going to be really tight and really people will recognize this man is having a problem. But when women are, with women, it's different. Women tend to have uh, fewer of these types of symptoms. They may just have a small indigestion. They may just feel faint. They may have a slight headache. Uh, they may just be a little fatigued. And yet they might be having a massive heart attack. So it's important that people, that women understand that, that there's, there's this risk. And I don't want to end this segment be without mentioning that black women, so you have the double whammy now. We've talked about how black people tend to have a greater problem with heart, heart disease and heart attacks and strokes. Well, having been a, a, a woman and being black is an even worse <laughs> disadvantage. And here's a quote here. Every year, Americans suffer more than 1.5 million heart attacks and strokes. Nearly 44% of African American men and 48% of African American women have some form of cardiovascular disease that includes heart disease and strokes. So 
it's important. It's important that you realize that you are at risk and that you have to take pay attention, especially, I would say, 40s, from your 40s and above. You want to pay specific attention, um, check your blood pressure regularly. Like we said, check your blood sugar regularly, check your cholesterol, go see your doctor, let him talk to your doctor. If you, if you have access to uh, high-tech equipment where they can actually map out your arteries and see your heart properly, I would say go for it. Very, very, very important. So please pay, pay attention. Look at our, our other uh, programs on heart disease and the African person, and I'm sure you'll learn a lot from that. Thanks a lot.